Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club. And this is my first layout using the 2018 November kits. I just got them a couple days ago and could not wait to use them. And my assignment for today is to use mixed media and a cut file. And this is the really pretty heart-shaped wreath fall cut file. And it's from the October set of cut files over on the Hip Kit website. And I'm going to use this really pretty Heidi Swap Emerson Lane pattern paper as my background. And uh, I love that watercolor look on there. I didn't do that. It came that way. It's so pretty. And I've got these two black and white pictures of me and my daughter Paige. And I'm going to kind of situate them just like you see there. I'm going to run the cut file off the page there. because Mainly because my cameo had a fit trying to cut that cut file because it's so intricate and detailed and I had to go and punch out all the little inside pieces and then some of it just ripped and the left side of it was just not cooperating and so I thought okay well then I just won't use that side I will run it off the page so um, I am going to do mixed media like I said so I'm going to use white gesso on my background here where I'm going to use the shimmers and you know a regular pattern paper like this is definitely not meant to handle a lot of liquids and so um, I always like to make sure I use gesso. I almost always do use gesso even when I use thick cardstock but especially when you use pattern paper. If you're going to use a lot of liquid um, you don't want it to soak right through your paper and uh, the gesso is, is definitely the way to go I think. So this is one of the shimmers colors that we get in the color kit this month. It's a creamies and it's called Good Old Summertime. And it's a beautiful, bold, corally pink color. And when it dries, it's so shimmery. It's so beautiful. And uh, it's the perfect color for a lot of the embellishments that are in the kits this month. So I'm using the packaging technique here where you just paint some of the paint, or paint some of the paint, brush some of the paint onto the plastic, and then flip it over and smudge it down. You get a beautiful result every time. I also like to use my brush to kind of help sp uh, spread some color around and also to use splatters. You get a different look with every, diff every different way you apply the paint. If you use a brush, you're going to get one look. If you use the packaging, you're going to get a different look. And I like to kind of mix and match all of it. It just depends on the look you're going for. Now these two colors here are not from this month, but they're from the past few months color kits. And I'm blending the Minor Minor 49er Inklings, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous metallic gold, with the Vibes Mustard Seed, which is more of a mustardy golden yellow. And you're going to see a lot of that color in the, uh, the kits as well. So I wanted to add a little bit of that onto the background. And a lot of this, like I say, I think I, I feel like I repeat myself in all my videos, but a lot of the mixed media that I do on the background is going to get covered up because obviously you're going to lay your cut file over it, you're going to lay your photos and your embellishments on top of it. And so I always like to say I, I want my mixed media kind of peeking around the the focal point of the the layout I guess the photos but also kind of peeking through the cut file and embellishments and things like that so um, you know you have to go into it knowing that some of it's gonna get covered up and I want to apologize for my voice I've had a bad head cold since Thursday and I've been uh, sounding really really bad and so I was hoping that by the time I had to do this voiceover I would not sound like a dude but yeah I, um, I've been sneezing and coughing and you know the drill. It's not fun. But yeah, I sound like I have a frog in my throat and um, hopefully it's not too annoying or driving you too crazy. But um, I have some water here in case I <laughs> decide to start choking. Anyway, this is kind of the look that I'm going for here. And I pulled out some of the embellishments to kind of see what other colors I wanted to add to the background. I knew I wanted to add some blues. This blue here is from this month's color kit. It's called Deep Blue Sea, and it's a Vibes. And I kind of blended in some of the Oaky Bear Blue that we got back in August, and it's a really pretty navy blue. And I love how these two colors look mixed together. Um, this Deep Blue Sea is a perfect match for the exclusive Blue Alphas 
stickers that we get in the kit this month. And so Kimberly does such a great job of mixing and matching all of these colors together because it all goes and it all flows so, so nicely. And I'm just trying to put in little pops of this blue color here and there um, using my brush. I didn't want to use the packaging with the blue because I didn't want to cover up a lot of the pink or the yellow. I'm just kind of trying to space the colors out a little bit. And you can kind of see my papers buckling a little bit. And that's just because I'm adding a lot of liquid to this pattern paper. And it would be a lot worse if I did not add the gesso. And once it dries, it doesn't even matter. You know, it's easy to flatten something like that out. What I do a lot is once this kind of dries, um, I'll set something really heavy and flat on top of it and just leave it for hours or maybe even overnight. And the next day, it's it's fine. And if it's got a little bit of buckle in it, it's okay. It's not the big, not, not the end of the world. Okay, so I let that dry and I went ahead and stuck down and machine stitched around or through the middle of the heart there. So some of the, the edges are going to be able to be curled up. And I love how that looks. I love the, the cup file in white because it just sort of softens everything up. I didn't want this to be a dark layout. The photos are dark. And I like that because it's going to contrast because everything else is going to be so light. The, the photos are so dramatic with the black and the white. They're going to pop right off of everything. So um, these are some stickers from Heidi Swap. And I really didn't know what embellishments I wanted to use at this point. So I just start playing around with everything. Uh, these are the Project Life cards, the 3 by 4 ones. And I love to use those as layers. I love to fussy cut things out of those. Um, sometimes there's some really pretty florals or shapes on those. They make great layering pieces. If you don't do Project Life, I always recommend getting that um, the kit anyway because I find that I use it quite a bit on my layouts. And so I layered a darker navy blue one and um, a darker pink coral one underneath the pictures there. And some uh, tissue paper just to add another little messy layer behind there. And I did want to add some dimensions, so I'm going to pull out what I have left of my um, scraps of adhesive foam and use those. And so now I'm going to play with embellishments. There's a Heidi Swap Emerson Lane ephemera pack, and there's a lot of vellum pieces in there. And we also get an exclusive die cut set in one of the kits. I can't remember which kits these things come in. Um, but uh, the website will definitely break it down for you. And one of my favorite things we get is an exclusive set of acetate leaves. I'm using the pink ones. You can see there that I'm playing with now. But there's a whole huge set of acetate leaves in different colors. Oh, you can see through them. They're gorgeous. And um, yeah, I, those pink ones are my favorite. So I just tucked in some die cut leaves around the edges of the heart. And now I'm just going to start to play with some of these puffy stickers. There's so many little floral clusters and leaves. Um, these kits are perfect for fall. Um, or, I mean, this layout has a bunch of leaves on it, but it's definitely not about fall necessarily. Um, these photos were taken in November, so I guess technically it is a fall uh, or fall photos. But, you know, with the colors, you could use leaves on pretty much any type of layout you want doesn't have to be a fall layout. I love this um, rose. It's, it's pink vellum or white and pink vellum. I'm going to use that as a layering piece. And then before I glue my photos down, I'm going to use uh, some thread. And I um, wanted to kind of pull in the light blue and the navy blue. So I just pulled both colors off the spools and mixed them together. And I love how that looks. It's hard to see here because it's not super close, but um, in person, hopefully up close in the photos, you'll be able to see the two colors kind of blended together. And I like how that looks. And I'm just going to tuck that in on either side to pull in some of the blue. Yeah, and it, that side was giving me a fit, so I had to pull it back out and rework it. You would think a tangled knot would just be a tangled knot, but no, I have to be OCD about it because I'm weird like that. <laughs> I'm 
Now I'm going to glue everything down. Um, I'm going to make sure those photos stay right there. And I don't necessarily want them super straight, so they're kind of at an angle. And I do that intentionally. Almost usually, almost always usually. I'm, I'm saying things today that don't make sense. I'm attributing this to my head cold because I've done several things today that make no sense. But um, now I've already forgotten what I was saying. Oh, good grief. I can't wait for this cold to go away so I can get back to my normal self, which is still pretty scary. What I think I was going to say was I almost always have my photos crooked. Very rarely are they straight. Sometimes they are, but usually I kind of make them look kind of crooked because my background's always messy and I like them to be kind of off-center. Um, anyway, I'm going to mix and match my title. That today piece is a vellum piece from the Heidi Swap uh, Emerson Lane ephemera. And then the was is the blue exclusive alphas that I was talking about earlier. They're a really pretty dark navy. And then the so fun is some of the really, I love the, the gold. They're thickers, but they're not like super shiny. They're kind of like matte. They're kind of shiny, but kind of matte at the same time. They're perfect. And they're foam. They're awesome. Um, then to add a little something over to the right, I'm going to tuck in another leaf die cut and then another one of those acetate leaves. Look how pretty that pink color is. I love it. And then I felt like I needed a little bit of blue on that side, so I just used some of the lighter blue thread underneath that leaf. And all the leaf die cuts I'm using on this layout are are exclusive. They're in some kind of exclusive pack. So they're only available at hip kits. I'm going to go back to that exclusive blue alpha thickers and there's a couple of shapes. There's some hearts on there. So I'm going to use a blue heart over on the left to kind of pull in the same color in the was. And then this is an exclusive clear sticker sheet. Uh, the words are black but the, the backing is clear. And so it looks kind of like you stamped the words on there. And I'm just going to use a couple of these. Now, some of these are kind of fall related or autumn related, but most of them are general and can be used with any type of, um, any type of layout that you're doing. I love that about these kits is, you know, you could totally do every layout you want or every layout you make fall related or you could make every layout not fall related because there's so many things to choose from and um, so many routes you could take. Um, those are some Echo Park enamel dots. I used a couple of the light blue ones. And then the last thing I'm going to do is use my T-square ruler to draw some lines and I'm going to write in my journaling. And then I do come back after I turn off the camera and add some more um, gold splatters from the Minor Minor 49er, but that is going to wrap it up. I think it's almost finished. There's the final layout. I love how this turned out. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, I think that cut file is really, really pretty. And I wish my cameo would have done a better job cutting it. But I think it turned out okay. I think I salvaged it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed watching this. There you can see the two colors of thread that I mixed together. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys do with those acetate leaves. They are so pretty. And there's so many different colors and sizes and shapes. I just use the pink ones on this one, but they are so awesome. So um, thank you guys so, so much for watching and bearing with my crazy brain and my annoying voice today. And I hope you have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.